Today I will tell you how to measure distance on Google Maps and how accurate it is. I am Hanno from Appnost and on this channel we tell you everything about GPS land surveying, so if you like that, subscribe. Distance can be measured with Google Maps. It can be done on a computer but also with the Google Maps app. I will show you both methods in this video. I will also compare the results of both methods with the GPS surveying kit. So then you can see how accurate it is to measure distances with Google Maps. To be able to compare the three results, we first have to determine what distance we want to measure. And since we have a parking lot near our castle, we will measure the length of the parking lot. The start point and the end point of those points are good to see on the satellite view of Google Maps. And that will make comparing the results fair. Let's start with measuring the distance on Google Maps, the website. So I'm in Google now and we're going to Google Maps. We're looking for the parking lot in the castle, in our castle. Here is the castle and we need the satellite view. So we click on satellite and then we zoom in and here we have the parking lot. So now we go to the corner point of the parking lot and we click with the right button. There, completely below, there is the option measure distance. So we click on it and then we go with the pointer to the other corner of the parking lot and there we click on it and then it says that the distance is 65 point four six meters so we got a distance of 65 point four six meters it's a bit hard to pick the exact point but we could make it if you learned something of this then give a thumbs up let's see how you can measure the distance with the google maps app it might be a bit harder so get ready so now we are in the android device and we go to open the google maps app and we zoom in to the parking lot of the castle and we put it on satellite view then we zoom in as far as possible to the start point of our measurement and there we push with our finger till there is this option and screen coming on the left side and there is the option measure distance after clicking on measure distance, you can move the screen with your finger and going to the end point of the measurement. And when you are in the end point of the measurement, you can click on the plus and there you see that the distance that is measured in the Google Maps app is 64 meters. Also here we got a distance. The distance is 64 meters. As you could see the Google Maps app rounds the distance to whole meters. So there are no decimeters or centimeters mentioned. It is also harder to pick the exact position of the start point and the end point. I think that is because of my thick fingers. But still we got a distance and it's close to the distance we got from the Google Maps website. Now it is to see if the measured distance in Google Maps is accurate. To do that, we will map the parking lot with a professional GPS surveying kit. The GPS surveying kit exists of an Amnet Reads RS2, an Amgloss Armor tablet, a tablet holder and a GPS rod. Of course, we use the easy to use Land Survey app, Amgloss Survey Wizard. You can download that app for free from the Google Play Store. First, I go to the start point of the parking lot. When I reach the start point, I make sure that the GPS rod is held straight and then I click on the point button. That was easy. Half of the work is already done. Now I will go to the end point. According to Google Maps, it is a walk of around 65 meters. Let's see about that. I'm almost there. At the end, I also hold the GPS rod straight. If I hold the GPS rod with an angle, then there will be a deviation. And that is not what we want. We want it to be exact. In one of the previous videos, I showed you the precision of a GNS receiver. If you would like to know more about that, then check it out here. When the GPS rod is held straight, I push the line button and the line is drawn on the map. Now we only need to determine the length of that line. To do so, I go to the calculation screen. 
On the calculation screen I select length and since the line of which we want the length is already selected I can click on the calculate button. The length of the line is 65.421 meters. So the distance of the parking lot is 65.421 meters. The difference with the measurement of the Google Maps website is not that big. Wait one moment. Here there is another hint of Find a Wizard 2021. You can win a complete GPS surveying kit with this competition. You have to find the wizard. And to do so you have to find the exact coordinate. In our videos we give hints to get that coordinate. If you want to know more how you can win then check out this video on the top right of the screen. If the distance of the parking lot measured from the Google Maps website is bigger than the distance measured from the professional GPS kit then the marked digit is a plus. Otherwise it's a minus. Good luck finding the wizard. So the difference between the measurement on the Google Maps website and the professional GPS surveying kit is not that big. With the Google Maps app it is bigger. But that is because it's hard to click on the exact position of the start and the end point of the measurement. And of course my thick fingers. To check if it was luck we try to measure some more times the same distance with the Google Maps website. And yes there is some variation. But the variation is not that big. It's just a few decimeters. And that is not that much with measuring from satellite images. So if you want to have a global distance then measuring with Google Maps is great. But if you want accuracy the GPS lens beam is better. Because it's more accurate, also you can pick the points better because you can see more clear. If you like this video then give a thumbs up. If you want to know more about Abdul Survey Wizard then check out this playlist next to me. Thanks for watching and enjoy using Abdul Survey Wizard.